Pastor Menda, I would love to uh, remind the church of our upcoming mission trip to Namibia next year. Uh, pia nataka ni, ni wakumbushe tu kanisa yote kuhusu safari yetu ya kwenda Namibia mwaka inakuya. As you know, as a church, we are celebrating 20 years of uh, the of our church next year. Kama gisi muna jua, tutenda kusherekea miaka 20 ya, kwa, ya mwanzo ya kanisa. Since City of Glory started. Tangia gisi mji wa utukufu ilianzia. And it started in the in the country of Namibia in southern part of Africa. Na ili, ili, ilianziwa katika inchi ya Namibia. Mungambo ya Afrika ya Sid. Yeah, so we we felt to honor the country and the place so we have to go there and have this moment there. Kwa hiyo tunajisikia tuheshimishe hii nchi na tuende kule tusherekee kwa pamoja. And celebrate with our brothers and sisters. Tusherekee pamoja na wakaka zetu na wadada zetu katika Kristo. As from next year to our church logo is going to change. Uh, kuanzia mwaka inakuya alama yetu ya kanisa itaenda kubadilika so this is a new logo that we'll be using as from next year hii uh, njo alama yetu tutaenda kutumikisha kuanzia mwaka inakuya uh, that will be right when we enter the 20 years of existing of the ministry na hii itaenda tukuonesha kama tunabadilisha tunaingia katika uh, kisha miaka 20 yote ya huduma yeah, so please uh, we encourage you to support uh, the mission trip uh, kwa hiyo tunakomba uunge mkono hii safari ambayo tunapanga uh, those who are praying and planning to go they can start already registering wale ambao wanapanga kuenda waanze kujiandikisha bado mapema so we know who's coming and who's not coming ili tujue wale ambao watakuja na wale ambao uh, watakuja so it's going to be toward the end of april 2023 uh, itakuwa mwisho ya mwezi wa 4 uh, mwaka 2023 yeah so those who won't make it to go Wale ambao hawata uweza kuenda. We still want you to support the mission. Bado tunataka uunge mkono hii mission. Support the mission with your money. Uweze kuunga mkono hii uduma na franga zako. Uh, because you know traveling takes a lot of money. Kwa maana unajua kusafiri na chukua franga mingi. The celebration that we're going to have is going to be a very big event. Na itakuwa ni sherehe na mkutano mkubwa ambao tutakuwa nao. So we need uh, money to be spent thousands of dollars will be to spend it. Uh, kwa hiyo tunahitaji franga kuko ma, franga mingi mahelfu ze zitapotea. So Apart from that, if you are not going, you can still support what God is doing over there. Uh, kwa hiyo, hata kama hauta enda, lakini bado, unaweza kusupport yale ambayo mungu atatenda. And where will your support go to? Uh, wapi ambapo support yako itaenda? So your support will help us reach our two church, existing churches in Namibia. Uh, mchach, uh, mchango wako utaenda katika kanisa mbili ambayo yuko Namibia. One, the, our very first church is blessed because we already build. They have buildings. They have everything there. Kanisa yetu ya kwanza imesha barikiwa kwa mana wamesha jenga na wako na kila kitu. Uh, the second church now they are building. So they've just put the, the steel structure so now they are busy building up. Na kanisa ya pili na yonjo inaanza kujenga ilisha anza msingi tayari. Even one bag or two bag of cement will be of help to them. Kwa hiyo ata sima ata ukileta bage mbili ya sima itawasaidia sana. Support will also reach our preschool and daycare centers. Uh, pia mchango wako utaenda katika masomo za watoto wadogo uh, na madekea. This is a school we started since 2011. Hii ni masomo ambayo tulianza tokea Demi Ons. Uh, we start, I remember when my wife started that was only of the 11 children, right? Tulianza na tulipa, tulikuwa tu tunabado na watoto kumina moya ndo tulianza nao. So now it's been... Every year they have over 150 children. Uh, na kila mwaka wako na kuwa napata watoto zaidi ya mia na amsini. So we also have a charity organization that we started in 2006. Uh, pia tuko na ingine organization yelianza Demil Sis. So this is a charity organization with feeding center. People come and eat every Tuesday na of the week. Na ni kwa jili tu ya kusaidia watu ambayo watakuja, wanakula, chakula, so kuwapatia kivitu tafauti. From 2006, every Tuesday of the week. Tokea mwaka wa elfu mbili na sita, kila wakati, kila wiki. Every Tuesday. Kila siku ya pili ya wiki. So people comes there to church to eat. Watu walikuwa na kuja, tukukanisa, juu ya kula. So they, since 2006 to today. Mkwanzia mwaka elfu mbili na sita, mpaka hivi. So people still go and eat there. Watu bado wangaliki wanakaribisho wa waje uh, wafeo chakula. You find a lot of children coming from school. Utakona na watoto wanatoka ata kumasoma wakona njala. 
When they know they will go home, they will find nothing. Wanajua tukienda kwetu tutapata chakula. So they go straight to the center. Wao wanapitia tu pale kwenye ile kanisa kula. Found parents there. Na wengine wazazi pia. Everybody come with their own plates. Kila mtu anaokea na masahani yake. Yeah, this is one of the 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 that's the vision God gave us. Hii ni maono ambayo Mungu halitupatia. We started it while we there. Uh, tulianza taingia tukingaliki kule even after i left namibia na hata gisi nilitoka namibia the one thing i told them never to stop is this project kitu moyo niliwambia niliwambia kwamba msiachi kazi hii you can close anything else but not this mnaweza kufunga vingine vyote lakini msiachi huduma hii and the lord has been faithful na mungu asha kwa mwaminifu uh, we'll be turning 9 years now in december here uh, tutafahamu mwaka miaka kenda sasa hapa mwezi wa 12 not even a single day that project stopped hakuna hata siku moja kazi hiyo iliachiwa on those tuesdays of the week yani kila siku ya pili ya kila wiki god keep opening doors people bring food na mungu anazidi kufungua milango chakula haikosi from church so we know that's where the source of our blessings come from na ndio pale ambapo baraka yetu inatokea so some of you when you see people bless you may not know the source of the blessing ah watu wengine mkiona watu wanabarikiwa wakati unajua mwanzo ya baraka yao People some people that's talking talking Wengi tu wanapendaka tu kuanza ongelea ongelea wenye wajui But there's a source of blessing some Lakini kuna kwaka chanzo ya baraka There is more blessing to give than to receive Kuna kwa baraka sana wakati unatoa zaidi ya gisi unapokea So your, your some of your money will go over there Kwa hiyo mchango wako utaenda katika kazi hizi uh, We have a team from Brazil uh, Tuko pia na group ya kutoka Brazil So this team is a team of pastors and missionaries from Brazil. Hawa wote ni wa pastere na wa missionaries kutoka Brazil. So they come every year. Wanakujaga kila mwaka. So the only year they didn't go to Namibia was during pandemic in 2020. Mwaka tu ambao wakufika Namibia ilikuwa ni wakati ya corona so ya Demil Vent. They were coming well were they even after we left they keep coming. Kwa hiyo walikuwa wanafika kipindi tulikuwa pale hata kipindi tuliondoka. And the most mission when they come for they come to feed people during that program. Na ngo yao ilikuwa ni kuja ili waweze kulisha watu katika kazi hii and also help children because some of them like working with children na pia wengine walikuwa wanapenda tu kucheza na watoto walikuwa wanawasaidia watoto yeah, and also some of your money will go to the anniversary conference celebration uh, na ingine itaenda katika uh, mkutano four days of uh, conference tutakuwa na siku nne za mkutano uh, from Thursday 27 to the 30th of April kuanzia le 27 mpaka le, le 30 so we'll be celebrating and just thanking god for what he has done tutakuwa tunasherekea na kumshukuru mungu kwa yote ambayo alifanya haleluya amen isn't good uh, si, isn't, si vizuri isn't wonderful yeah mungu ni mzuri si vile yeah, god is doing great things mungu yuko natenda makuu yeah so this amen. is a bit please make sure you connect and also be part of what god is doing. Kwa hiyo tafadhali ujiunge na uweze kuchangia uwe pamoja na wanaoenda kufa kazi. It will be a very wonderful moment. Itakuwa ni vizuri sana. Hallelujah. Amen.